would say that by definition I'm not a very conservative artist and that I don't have a very narrow scope of things. I have a very broad scope of things and that to me the idea of a techno album is kind of a contradiction because techno by its very nature, I mean like the you know, you know like the the paradigm shift of minimal like the whole industry change of minimal as significant as it, as it was was kind of a bizarre to me because techno by its very def definition is minimal to me and the idea of reducing techno uh, of a reduced musical form is is inherent to that and the, and because of that it seems like the idea of a techno album is almost a contradiction but to me it doesn't have to be so that's sort of what I was trying to trying to do trying to plan on was that um, to make an album that is very, um, you know, is very religious and it's very devout in its in its um, in its uh, reliance on techno ideas and motifs and um, you know existing standards, fundamental standards, but at the same time trying to recognize that a techno album can also um, can also relate to conventional I album ideas like narrative and um, um, you know a sense of um, a sense of place and a sense of context. <laughs> producers I've talked to um, take sort of a very, uh, not really an emotional, but a, um, an, an, an intuition-based approach. And I take an intuition-based approach as well, but I tend to treat it more like an intellectual exercise. Not that I plan it out and I calculate it, because I don't. I go in and I, I feel it out and I try and make things that come naturally to me. Like the album was very much an organic extension of sort of my the culmination of my musical understanding. My understanding is how music works and how techno works and stuff like that. And it, and it was very organic and sort of um, unmitigated in that way. But at the same time, I treat it very much like an intellectual exercise in that I, I go back and I review it and I craft it and I try and I try and take what I've come up with, what I've intuitively understood, and I try and sculpt it in a way that um, can be better. <laughs> album was programmed and, and was sequenced that you know there are high points and there are low points dynamically in the in the the arrangement of the album so to speak that there are certain things like certain choices that are made in the construction of the album that are meant to be more less obvious or more provocative in a way 
like they're less something that is you know it's a techno album but it's something that's less techno in a techno album as ambiguous as that sounds um, that people are responding to which is comforting to me because um, that's sort of what I planned I wanted to extend or make an extension or experiment in a certain way and that people are responding to those experimentations rather than the sort of baseline um, fundamental stuff uh, to a techno album. <laughs> write an idea I can sketch an idea for a track and I can it'll sit in my studio for a week and I can come back to it and I can review it and craft it and change it and rewrite it and do that ten times before it, you'll ever hear it but the difference when I'm DJing is that I pick a record I have to play and then I play it and then you hear it and I don't really have a chance to you know sort of go back and think about it um, until you know much later so that is very much a sense of that is very much guided by my intuition. And because of that, my, my style of DJing is very much, very intuitive and it's very, um, the best way I've heard it described is it's sort of meandering. It's, it's sort of a wandering style. Like I'm not, like there, there are techno DJs and house DJs that have a very focused and a very driving style. And there's, there's a definite sense of urgency and a, a momentum or, um, you know, a very sort of, maybe not momentum, but a sense of control that the DJ has over a crowd. I sort of have an intuitive um, drive behind the way I play and, and what's important to me, what I focus on when I DJ. And that sort of leads me to a very meandering style. Like I have, a, I have sort of a focus on um, rhythm, um, especially with um, sort of a, like a, I want to say like a lean towards a techno vibe, but I play a lot of house music as well, but it's always very rhythmic house music. Like the idea of deep house in its contemporary sense is very alien to me because it's so much of it is, is a rhythmic. It's very, it's, it deemphasizes rhythm in place of atmosphere. And I don't care so much about it atmosphere. I care more about rhythm so that the house stuff that I play is very rhythmically balanced. Like it's, it's, you know, a shuffly groove or a, piano loop that is very rhythmic it's it's instruments that focus on rhythm as opposed to like organ pads or something like that <laughs> Everybody stop. 